Hey guys, it's Grimace here, uh, bringing you another vlog a day. It's February and I'll be vlogging every day, uh, as long as I can think of a topic. But uh, on days that I can't think of a topic, my friends have been helping me, so that's always a good thing. Okay, so today I want to talk about <coughs> Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres addressing the million moms on uh, her show today. I think it was today because I saw the clip today. It could have been yesterday, but I'm pretty sure it was today because uh, everybody's talking about it today. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was great that she kind of like poked fun of it a bit and whatever. Uh, I saw Bill O'Reilly's response to it and uh, yeah, one of, or like my friend said, it's one of those awkward moments when you realize you're kind of uh, sympathizing with Bill O'Reilly. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, Bill O'Reilly basically just said, like, uh, that uh, for anybody to be able to be fired from their job because of their life choices, that's ridiculous. And that's essentially what the Million Moms was doing. For those of you that don't know the story, uh, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is now the spokesperson for JCPenney. And uh, so... This group of a million moms, which is 40,000 people on Facebook, which is a sizable number for a Facebook group, uh, they decided that they were going to call a boycott on JCPenney for having uh, Ellen DeGeneres, a lesbian woman, a married lesbian woman, uh, as their spokesperson. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just... Obviously don't agree with it because I'm gay for one, but two, I, I, I really think that is a problem. Nobody should be able to be fired from their job. And that is basically what this comes down to is that if they had one, it wouldn't have been about, uh, you know, like boycotting a product because, you know, they endorse whatever. You're actually having somebody fired for being gay. And that's just not right. And props to Ellen for bringing it up on her show today. And props to Bill O'Reilly. Even though with Bill O'Reilly, uh, in my opinion, the reason he was taking this sympathetic route was because he was, uh, he was the only person there to talk about being sympathetic towards it because, uh, yeah, they couldn't get anybody on their panel, I guess. Uh, in my opinion, I... I have no idea. I've seen them do that before with political pundits where they actually play a slightly different role than they normally would. But anyway, props to Ellen and shame on you one million moms. Peace.